It's been a trying few days for Canadian Airlines following the grounding of the Boeing 737 MAX 8 aircrafts earlier this week. It means flights canceled and rescheduled for many travelers, including those coming back from their March break trips. But some tell us it's been a turbulent journey back home. Airlines definitely were taking advantage. $7,000, $10,000. If you looked online, they were, it was outrageous. Taking Cost. advantage of people like you who were stuck. Yep. Yeah, and flights were sold out, so it was basically how to get out of South America was almost impossible. Sonia and the three people she was traveling with were supposed to fly back from Ecuador with a U.S. airline. But when that flight was canceled... They first told me that the soonest they could get me back out was March 30th. She got a refund and purchased tickets with another airline and ended up paying more than double for four tickets home. For the four of us, it, it cost about $20,000. Following the Ethiopian Airlines crash a week ago that killed 157 on board, countries around the world, including Canada, moved to ground the Boeing 737 MAX 8 aircraft. It meant airlines had to scramble during one of the busiest travel weeks, March break. Many had already gone south, but coming back was a challenge for those who couldn't get the flights they needed. All three of us were traveling different days. It was weird. It was a weird weekend for our family. Uh, I was supposed to come back on Friday from New York. And and uh, WestJet automatically booked us. I guess they sent us a note on uh, Friday to tell us we were coming back on Sunday. WestJet says more than 65,000 of their guests booked on these flights up to March 31st were impacted, adding that the majority, 85%, will have little to no changes to their travels. The airline canceled 14 flights today, affecting 1,600 passengers. 800 of these travelers were rebooked on flights today, 500 for tomorrow, and 300 will have to wait until Tuesday. Air Canada and Sunwing didn't provide details on how many flights were canceled, though AC says there have been capacity challenges on domestic flights, and some customers will experience delays. Sunwing hasn't canceled any flights, but says it had minimal updates to departure times in some cases. Last week's news also made for some nervous moments for some travelers. You sit down, you see this in your brochure. It's like, whoa, well, I'm on one of those planes including a Sunwing passenger coming in from Orlando this afternoon who saw the aircraft named on the brochure. Try sitting on the plane thinking it's banned. So what were you thinking the whole time? I said bye to my friends on Facebook. <laughs> Sunwing tells City News the B737 MAX 8 shares the same in-seat safety card as another plane, and it's in the process of updating that to avoid any confusion. It was a smooth flight, problem-free. When it announced the decision to ground the planes, Transport Canada recognized it would disrupt travel for thousands of people, but maintains it was more important to err on the side of caution. Inside Pearson Airport, I'm Faisal Amin for City News.